friends, welcome to the Lori Lulu Crochet Podcast, episode 93. Welcome to windy, rainy Chicago. excuse the wind you'll hear it eventually I'm sure on this but nothing I can do about it it's knocking all the leaves off and soon we will have bare trees which let's not even get <laughs> thinking about that right now okay yeah so for those of you who are new my name is Lori I live in the Chicago suburbs with my husband Ryan and our cat Daisy and I love to crochet and I love to knit and I love to sew. That doesn't happen very often, though. <laughs> um, oh, there's a hair <laughs> tickling me right here. Um, so yeah. What else do I want to say? Um, not much has really gone on in the last two weeks. My life has just been trying to keep active keep busy at work I don't know like there's not a lot for me to do right now which I'm okay with <laughs> um we do have our new VP so that's fun getting to know him um so we just had a big change at work uh our, the VP of my department went and found a new job so then my direct boss was promoted to VP and then they created a new VP with that like there's been a lot of restructuring going on and I'm like you know what I'm happy down here at the bottom of the totem pole like just let me be let me do my little numbers and I'll be fine <laughs> I don't need to I mean some of my coworkers are like oh yeah if they ever do the director position again, like if they're gonna, ha like I'm putting my name in, I want to move up, blah blah blah. Nope, I'm happy right here where I'm at. My life has enough stuff in it. I don't need any extra drama <laughs> from work. <laughs> anyway, so part of the other thing that we do. Um, that makes my life busy is my husband is a pastor so I am a pastor's wife and yes like it's not a paid position but it's very it's not time consuming because we have a small church and so but there's still like things that you know prayer requests things that I worry about and care about for my my family at church so there's that <laughs> but our little church, they take care of us very well. I'm very blessed. And with the end of October was the end of Pastor Appreciation Month. Um, they definitely spoiled my husband. And I was very thankful for that. That he needs to be spoiled, even though he doesn't like to be. <laughs> Sometimes you need it. Um, and they spoiled me too, because um, I got a little gift. This is... The best tote. I love this. I can't wait to put all my stuff in it for tomorrow at church. <laughs> so I have this tote bag. It says pastors are special, but a pastor's life is a blessing. <laughs> I'm like, yes, we are. Um, so yeah, they filled it. There's there was a t-shirt in it. It says pastors first lady, but it's in the dirty clothes. I'll wear it sometime soon. Um, I got a book, a composition book, with llamas on it, because I love llamas, and I got this really pretty, um, purple, obviously, <laughs> um, there's a pen in here, so if you pull that out, and I have a really nice pen in there, which would be nice for, uh, church, um, but it says, be still and know that I <clears throat> be still and know that I am God, which I have a hard time being still. And then <laughs> I think this is my favorite part of the whole package. <laughs> I love everything, but I think this is my favorite. 
it's knitting socks. <laughs> ah, and I love the colors on this. This is so pretty. So yeah, actually these are going to go get washed because <clears throat> with my sensitive skin, everything needs to be washed first before I can wear it, which is a bummer. I don't like that. Shall we get on with the yarny goodness? Do I have a lot to talk about? No. Yes. <laughs> I've got some major progress on my two projects that I've been working on. They're not done, but there's major progress. Yay. So, we'll start with the first one that was supposed to be done at the end of September. We're now in November. Anyway. <clears throat> that is my Blurred Lines sweater. Oh, I'm living in my Disney Castaway key bag. I will be there in two weeks. Anyway, I'll talk more about cruise stuff later. <clears throat> Goodness. Okay. So the Blurred Lines sweater is by Deanne of um, Addy Day Designs. Um, this is supposed to be like a two color uh, sweater. The one I did before I did three colors. <laughs> and this one I'm doing in one color because I have to be different, you know? Um, so I was doing the cozy summer make along with Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. <clears throat> Goodness. And it was supposed to, the make along ended on September 30th. I didn't finish, but I got really close. So the yarn that I'm using, this lovely hot pink, um, it is Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK, which is from Hobby Lobby. This color has been discontinued, so I was able to get sweaters quantity on clearance. It's so nice. So, are you ready to see where I'm at? <laughs> I am on to Sleeve Island. I am so excited. So, last time I was at the bottom of the body and I had to do the ribbing. So I did all the ribbing and I started one, two sleeves. Huh. So I decided I'm going to do them concurrently because when you're crocheting you can't do two at a time but that way my sleeves will be even and nice and not have one tighter than the other <laughs> so yeah I've finished the first part I'm to the first decrease on this on both sleeves so let's get back you still can't see all of it <laughs> let me walk rock way back in this Rocking chain doesn't quite work. Anyway, so there's my sweater. So close, I'm so close. Ugh. And then I'm working on, I also have major progress on my Socktober socks. Yes, they're supposed to be done in October and it's November. <laughs> what can I say? They are living in my Rapunzel bag. There you can see Rapunzel there. Hey, I'm representing today. <laughs> um, so yeah, I made this bag myself. Oh, I love it. Um, so I have my Go Live Your Dream sock maker extraordinaire on here. Can you hear my stomach? I'm hungry. It's Saturday morning and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I need to get on that. <laughs> okay, so the yarns that I'm using for these socks, they are fit for a princess because they are very royal. Because it's purple. <laughs> so I have uh, this lovely lavender. This is the um, contrast color for heels, toes, and cuffs. This is Lang Jiao Wool in the colorway lavender. And then this is the main color. So it's this dark 
royal purple with pops of lavender in it. This is Treasure Goddess Yarns with um, Treasure Goddess Yarns on her Treasure Toes sock face. Um, colorway is called Royalty. I think, Lori, I think, what all are you trying to say? I don't know. I'm getting distracted by the wind and the heater down here. <laughs> and my stomach keeps growling. <sighs> anyway, so here are my socks so far. Ta -da! That's where I was last time. And I now have heels. <gasps> so I have done the whole foot. I've done my heels and now it's on to the leg for as long as that yarn will last <laughs> because I I mean I can get a good amount of length on this so what I've got left so yeah so I always knit my socks two at a time um, just because I don't want to deal with second sock syndrome I mean sleeve island is bad enough <laughs> so yeah, so that way when I uh, cast, bind off, not cast off, that's when I go on the ship. Anyway, when I bind off, I will have a pair of socks done. So, <clears throat> I start at the toe, because I like to try it on as I go, just to make sure everything's fitting right. Um, I do have my own little formula now memorized. We're good. Um, yeah. So I do... Um, 60 stitches around for my foot and then I do the I did the shadow wrap heel by it's not by Denise but she has a tutorial on YouTube which I'll link down below it is the um shadow wrap heel yeah by Denise anyway <laughs> yeah just a plain vanilla sock I thought about doing some fancy design on them but honestly I just like vanilla socks I like making them, and I like making them vanilla so that you can see the yarn. It showcases the yarn really well. That's my thoughts. Anyway. Okay, so today is Saturday, November 5th, which means I'm going on my cruise in 12 days. Oh my gosh. <gasps> So, I have to get my projects ready. <laughs> so, for those of you who are new, I'm going on a Disney cruise with my mother. And we're very excited. We cannot wait to go. It'll be, it, I mean, it's here. It's, it's here. So, anyway. So, I need to get my projects ready. I have most of it ready. <laughs> I will show you what I'm doing. So, first one, because it's a Christmas cruise as well, <laughs> I'm taking my Christmas flamingo back. <laughs> uh, I love this. This is from Claudia from Crochet Luna. How did I get this bag? Oh, I want it. That's why. <laughs> I participate in the Summer of Romance crochet along, and so I got So in here is going to be the Retro Whirl Cowl by Christine Parker. She has a podcast. It's called The Yarn Hellions with Sarah, who is Super Fine Yarn Co. I'll link all that down below. Um, they are awesome. They talk Sarah dyes yarn, so she she's always showing her new yarns. They both knit. Christine sometimes crochets. And then they talk about books that they're reading. And it's it's a fabulous podcast. I haven't seen them pop up, though. I don't think they've recorded for a while. I hope everything's okay. Anyway. So, yeah. This is a knit cowl. I usually take socks with me when I go on a cruise. I say that like I've been on so many cruises. I've been on two. <laughs> but the yarn that I'm taking is perfect. For a Bahama Bahamian Bahamian cruise. Let's look at this. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my goodness. So this is Queenie Crochet. I got this, um, I got it at the Chicago Yarn Crawl last year. So yeah, I need to get to working on this. Um, let's see, do we have the make? This is her sock weight base. So it is 85 Superwash Merino, 15% nylon, 438 yards and 100 grams. And the colorway is Bird of Paradise. I think this will be beautiful as a cowl. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like the knitting of that cowl will just make these, like, make this, the yarn perfect for it. Anyway, really show off the yarn. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, because this is a knitting project and I like to use Chowgu needles, which are metal, and I'm worried that they would take them at TSA when I fly down. I have a crochet project that I'm taking as well that has a bamboo crochet hook. Actually, it's Tunisian crochet. Yeah. So, and of course, since I'm going on a Disney cruise, you need a Mickey and Minnie bag. <laughs> I love this bag. It's so cute. My mom got it for me, actually. So, there we go. And I'm taking it with me with her. I'm taking her with me as well. So the Tunisian project I am doing is the Cobble Street Cowl um, by, whoops. I don't remember the designer's name. I'll put it up here. Um, it is a Tunisian crochet pattern. So I figure if I have a Tunisian crochet pattern that I'm working on when we're waiting for the flight, It'll keep my mind off, like, I'll have to concentrate on this and not think about why I hate flying. <laughs> so, the yarns that I'm, the yarn that I'm using for this. Okay, so I have my bamboo Tunisian crochet hook. Excuse me. The yarn that I'm using, I'm taking a little Chicago with me. <laughs> Because it is an RMR yarn, which is at my local yarn shop, Lama Lama Ding Dong. Um, it is their um, yarn company, I guess you would say. Um, so you can really only buy it here. Um, so yeah, so not only am I taking an exclusive to me yarn, but these are the colors of the Chicago flag. Anyway, like, I don't know if you can tell because horrible lighting today, um, but it's white and you have this pale blue with pops of red. So you're like, Chicago flag is white and pale blue stripes with four red stars. And the colorway is called Para Ezra, which is their nephew. So this is for Ezra is what, basically what it means. Um, and it's their Super Fino Fingering. This is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. And I got this at Christmas time last year. So I think it's time I use it. <laughs> because I have a bin right behind you of all my yarns. And it's like, I've had some of those in my stash for a while. I need to get rid of this. <laughs> I need to get working on these. So those are my two crochet projects. Er my two projects that I'm taking, my cruise project. But there's more I need to share with you. So it was the beginning of September, I want to say, my local yarn shop, they posted that they were going to be closed for a while due to unforeseen circumstances. And I was like, oh my gosh, I hope everything's okay. And so like I've you know, prayed for them, like, don't know what's going on, but God knows, so I figured, you know, he can help them. <laughs> and then they posted at the beginning of October, <clears throat> we're reopening, but we're going to have uh, shorter work hours, Short, we're going to be open shorter hours so yaks can heal, so our yaks can get better. What happened to yaks? <laughs> 
So the owners are Yax and Rue. They are two sisters. Um, their other sister, she helps too. And then they, the, all three of them, they do the yarn dyeing for RMR yarn, which is in honor of their mother, which I love all of that. <clears throat> so I was finally able to go see them um, because their yarn, their open hours are while I'm at work. So I took my lunch really late one day <clears throat> I went to go see her. Please keep playing for Yaks <laughs> and send positive thoughts to her. Um, she woke up, couldn't breathe, and was in the hospital. They've done all these tests. They're still trying to figure out what it is. They think, her doctor seems to think it's an allergy to wool. Yeah. <laughs> when she said that, I was like, no! Oh no, 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 because her life is wool with the yarn shop, with the yarn dyeing, with all the stuff that she likes to do. She likes to knit and crochet. Oh my gosh. So, I went shop. So, I was like, well, let's help <laughs> as much as I can. Not just praying, but I'm going to buy stuff to help them. So, I have two skeins. You'll see them later. But the one that I did want to show you. Oh, here's their logo. It's so cute. Two llamas. The accent room. And then um, the yarn that I bought for myself. Um, this is a base that they're discontinuing. So it was on clearance. <laughs> I bought full price stuff and then I bought clearance stuff for myself. But... So RMR Yarn Co. is um, super fino fingering, so it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and the colorway is Rio. Oh my goodness. <gasps> yeah, these are gorgeous. So, not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but I had to have it. So, there we go. Perfect. And speaking of impulse buys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know my love of Jane Austen, and my favorite book is Persuasion. And I saw it pop up as a Facebook ad. I saw this pop up, and I was like, I really shouldn't, I really shouldn't, but I love it. I need this. I want this so bad. So I bought it. It's a pin. Um, it's from Bookish. Uh, Bookish Mail. And so they do like a book box. A monthly book box. And so like you get a bunch of stuff. Books and pins and all kinds of stuff. And so this was left over from a book box. So it's a monthly pin that they had. It's persuasion, my favorite line. <laughs> so here's the pin. Let me get it out of this. But it says, you pierce my soul. I am half agony, half hope. So there you go. There it is. It's Anne and Wentworth. <sighs> Can you focus on this, please? There you go. Oh. It's a heavy pin. I don't even know what I'm going to put it on. I don't want to focus back on me, please. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to put it on a project bag because it's so heavy. So I don't know. <laughs> it may just be up in my, on my dresser <laughs> for me to look at. I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> just wanted to share that with you because I have the Persuasion Shawl, which I went to wear that the other day. So sad because the lace at the bottom had felted and you can't even tell that it's lace anymore. I mean I have two of them but the one that I wear the most is felted. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go buy some more <laughs> mohair yarn. 
Because I don't have any anymore. I used what I had. I need to make it again. Obviously. So. Anyway. That is all. Two weeks from now, when I'm supposed to record again, I will be in another country. I will be here. So. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Take care. God bless. Bye.